Hey everyone, this is CodeBlack387 and I'm starting a new playthrough of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And let's wait for this to load up. Um, I know I never finished the XL Explorer playthrough one, but eh, in the situation I'm at, I can't really do that right now. I don't really want to explain that. Um, so I decided to switch to this. I was going to do Modern Warfare 2, but two things. One, I can't really find a screen recorder that works with it for right now. The ZDSoft, the one I was using, um, it works, but I'm waiting to buy it. And, um, X-Fire doesn't work, so I use X-Fire to record this. But, um, another reason is because, um, this game came out first, and it kind of is the beginning of the storyline. So I felt like doing this one first, just kind of going to the point of the storyline. Right here, it takes forever to load. I think it's because X-Fire slowed down the computer. Um, I will be doing online videos for, like, Modern Warfare 2. Probably not Modern Warfare, and, um... Battlefield 2, I was thinking about putting those up, but I can't seem to record a good enough game. And, uh, so, let's wait for it to load. It takes forever. Okay, there we go, and then this one's a little bit choppy. I think, you, yeah, right there, kind of runs choppy. Uh, I think it's X-Fire. This game really runs perfect on my computer, no choppiness, whatever, but X-Fire thinks making it run a little bit choppy. You just gotta shoot targets here and shoot enemy target things. Just targets with enemies on them. And I was lucky to get both those in one. Shoot through the wood like you can do in this game. Other games have had the like battlefield, so you can shoot through certain fences and stuff, but that's about it. You can't shoot through anything. Like you can't on this game. Uh, and then you just gotta shoot down the targets as fast as you can. Really, it doesn't matter though. He always says you do a good job no matter how slow you do it. I've tested. And then I gotta get a sidearm so we can show you how quickly you can pull it out. I never use sidearms in this game though. You're gonna see me flip them out for. AKs and stuff a lot. I almost never use a sidearm. Online I use a sidearm sometimes, but normally I like flipping them out in the single player. Okay, now I gotta go see Captain Price. The guy who has been in the game since World War II. Somehow he survived a modern warfare, I don't know how. Me and my brother always makes jokes, it's like his grandson or great grandson or something. It's the FNG, sir. I like what he says here. Right. What the hell kind of name is so Yeah, everybody's well not everybody. Me, my brother, and my half brother have all said we don't get where they got the name, so my brother tries to say, you know, he slips out of every situation, it seems like, and you can see that in the two games, but, you know, kind of hard to tell exactly where he got that name. Then again, it ain't much better in the next game. You got a guy named Roach and a crazy dude named Ghost. That was just fun. Now I just gotta run this obstacle course in under 60 seconds. I have not played this game in forever, so I was kind of slow at the obstacle course. I make some mistakes here and there, like right there, and a little thrown flashbang. I was running down the steps, I would have prepared it and then thrown it right after I got to the point I could. I normally did that a little quicker. Yeah, and this isn't excuses. I was lucky at this. I actually was able to beat Gad this time, but it's pretty difficult. And this recommended me for Harden. I, I chose Harden, not Veteran, because I haven't played this game in forever. And uh, I just explained the mission. And see, I said I'm going Harden, but I haven't played this game in forever, so I don't want to play it on Veteran, but I'm going to play it on Harden because. It's been months since I played this game. And uh, that's the end of the playthrough part. And watch the next part. It's going to be Crew Expendable, the ship mission. And I'll see you all then. Bye.